I cannot enter. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. It's locked, all right. The Lady of the Manor isn't expecting visitors. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Like most castles, this one has a crypt, and it holds something special inside. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flat. This castle is falling apart. She was here, and recently. This painting looks suspicious.
I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for.
symbols. I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch, and... Voila! Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. Strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, Father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Caution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil 
She exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are. William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak, for my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker, for he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time? Welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. 
You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to starve the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this. I love you, Elizabeth. I can do this. Please, stay with me. I... I believe you. This is crazy, but... I believe you, Jonathan. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas she rises, woken by the hunger never fed.